Hi guys, another oldie. We'll check it out later how old that old actually is. Let's see if we can navigate a little bit to it. Um, if you can't read it, I'll try to read it myself. <laughs> Intel Core i7 361 and so on. It's a GeForce GTX 670, I think it is, or it might be 870, but eyesight and the lightning is not very well here 670 m i think it is anyway um i've done it like that right that's what i mean with a little bit of piece of paper and we we can type this thing dynamo or demo or whatever it's called and then we have this on there forever i need the 390 for it okay gt70 up there as well and some nice other stickers so there you go, right? Hyperlint. It's already on there. I thought let's just, while the other video was uploading, test already. So yes, we have this system up and running on something old, of course. As usual, Control T. I don't like the wallpapers. I type var. And I ask him to give me, give me a Zerti for Hyperlint. Thank you, right? That's what I'll do. Balancing your devices, says DJI. Yes, okay. Anyway, it's short lift. We'll do the installation again. Well, actually I can skip a little bit if you take a look at the video 3400. Yes, the video 3400. 400 is just boot up with BIOS. So you get this nice logo. So it's an old computer. That's why UFI is still unknown to it. And then you Take line one and you do the default installation as usual. But then, right, let's have a look at the hardware. NVIDIA is not installed, right? This is just not there. Pseudo Pacman, maybe we should do that as well. XF8 and then 6. None of these video drivers are here either. There's just the input Hello Graphics and the input Lip Input. That's it. No video things, video unavailable. No NVIDIA, okay. GPU, Intel, third generation corpus processor, graphics controller, and a little bit higher, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 6670. Now the other video that I made was 620, 630, 635, and 640. This is 670. It's still the 390 that we need. Basically, it's a redo. It's again the same thing than the other video. This gives gives us no extra knowledge as a, for me anyway. And that's the fact that you need to yay or paru NVIDIA DKMS and then the number 390 enter. One enter 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 password enter now from previous video we know already that the 390xx settings do not work in Wayland so no need to install it but the question is will the driver kick in here as well that's of course something else so these are proprietary drivers which are now being uncompressed all these dots there and what we could do I see if we, while it's building, it will take quite a while to build. So let's go to the other hyperlink, which is based on Intel here. And ask for a nicer wallpaper with Alt-N, Ctrl-Alt-F. And we go to NVIDIA. I always type NVIDIA drivers and that helps me better to get to the, the page. Sometimes I end up in something, I don't know where I end up. But we need 600 
six 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 seventy or something like that. What was it? Six seventy. 600, 600 series maybe, I don't know, 645, here it ends, let me see, I'm going to the laptop now, Control alt t again, and ask for an, an ink seat, here it says GTX 670, okay, an X, it needs an X, so this one, or probably for laptops, it's the M series, GTX 670. Right, that's the one. Search, and yes, we get confirmation. It's still 390. So that's how you look it up. And everything is still running, I think. Let's see. No, it's done, it's finished. So let's get things going with super. Where's my super key? Super and then Q and then um, we get the Nemesis script in we get Nemesis on ArcLex this creates a folder called data we go inside the data folder inside ArcLex Nemesis folder in the AOR folder LS and in here we say add Wayland NVIDIA settings that's it add NVIDIA sorry add Wayland NVIDIA settings And with this script, take a look at the content of it. We add several things to the system so it knows it should take the NVIDIA driver and then we reboot. And there it is. It's an MSI, I see. Maybe we can send you a probe link beneath the video. So we have NVIDIA GeForce GDX 670M. I tend to look at S NVIDIA SMI. And here we do get a little bit more info than in the other video. Here we see a little bit more information. You see? In the first... Um, Column, let's say 0%, 59C, B12, that one is now filled in. The memory, yes, it's the same, so, so there are hardly anything, and the last is not available. So, this says to me that it's being used as a um, driver, unless I'm mistaken, right? Because that's all, well, that's what I think, that it's indeed used. If you do an ink C minus B, it has changed as well. So if you focus on the line, that's the second line, device two, NVIDIA, driver is NVIDIA 390, right? Since the settings we've changed, it can only run the NVIDIA drivers. I'm pretty sure of that, but anyway, if I'm mistaken, please correct me, right? Because, hey, I don't have uh, all the knowledge about these systems. Voila, another system that changed, an oldie. Um, let's do the probe thingy, so we can include in video how old is this thing. <laughs> so you just have to type P-R-R-O-B-E, make sure you got internet, probe, I haven't tested that but we'll test it now do we have internet I guess we do here's the link voila how old is this thing 2013 so 10 years old that's that's still okay is it no it's not <laughs> or a laptop it's a ages senile it should be put into out of put out of its misery that's the expression right so let me scroll a little bit while i keep the other thing with my left hand which is not easy 
but I will give you the link to it. All right, voila, another system created with the Arcanids B Hyperland ISO and then later on the NVIDIA 390 on it.